It's week one of the National Football League, where division rivals will clash in the AFC West. It's the Condors and the Lumberjacks, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Pacific Northwest and the bustling city of Portland, Oregon. And today we start the new season with an AFC West division battle right out of the game as it'll be the Condors of Oakland and the Portland Lumberjacks. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, there's nothing quite like it. That feeling of beginning another NFL season, and these two squads, they're going to do just that in a moment. And what makes it so exciting is the range of possibilities these teams have before them, because we could be seeing one of these teams earn the Lombardi Trophy in February, while the other, they could earn the number one draft pick in April or season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports and no run back on this one so the new season will begin at the 25 yard line so out comes this offense to take over for the first time they'll be led out by the veteran in his 10th NFL campaign Jimmy Garoppolo and Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback but his biggest problem his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field when able, he's a capable quarterback prone to winning games both in the regular and postseason. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's and this throw brought in here by Mayer. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. to throw, it's Garoppolo. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's a gain of 14. That's a play that may get lost in the grand scheme of things, but one thing's for sure. You certainly don't want to go three and out to start the game. So that's a nice job of finding the right play call and coming up with a first down. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Second and nine from the 44. Here's Garoppolo to throw. He's got Renfro on the out route. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. The open man here, Renfro. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, but might need to be 5-5 to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. DJ Jones. Gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively, and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback, maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. 
First and ten as they take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Bringing them out is the 12th year pro seeking a return to Pro Bowl form, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Here's Wilson. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of 40 to mark him down at the 39. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. Here's Wilson. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And here comes Abdullah on the return. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play action, Garoppolo. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Baron Browning in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play call. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. So possession goes over here on the punt. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Dancing to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and then will be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Now this one is tied in on the right side. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. Now it's Wilson. And that's off the mark, incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. 
And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But they've been fighting and scratching and clawing for that first sack in the game, and it turns out to be a big one. Not just a short one right there behind the line. First one they get, 10-plus yards, and the guy who has the legs to escape most of these. Here is third and quite a ways. Here's Wilson to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Max Crosby drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. Tried to create a little bit of hocus-pocus with some magic, but the defense, not impressed at all. They don't lose contain on this very dangerous runner, and they get a big stop. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. Baron Browning, what a start to this ball game. Still in the first quarter, and he now has three sacks on pace for double digits. Well, how about this? A fistful of sacks already. We're not even out of the first quarter yet. What an incredible start for this defense. If they keep this pace up, they could be looking at an all-time performance. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Throwing now is Garoppolo. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. It'll go down as a gain of six, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line, not near enough to keep the drive alive. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Portland's offense now about set to take over. And, partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right? When these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second... Run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. No score after one on EA Sports. Portland football here ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Abdullah to return. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They've been playing the field position game thus far. No score, second quarter as they come up on first and 10. play action now Garoppolo and his throw here's incomplete I saw he thought he had an open work beyond the first down marker to his receiver but they just couldn't connect and that will send them back to the drawing board they fake the give now Garoppolo looks to throw that's going to be caught it's Jacoby Myers and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 
Jacobs going to try the middle. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and nine. On play action, it's Garoppolo. A quick throw there is incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. How about the show put out by these two defenses in this first half? The fireworks don't have to be just offensively. Neither one of them given an inch. And that's good coverage once again there to force another fourth down. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Portland's offense now about set to take over. The results for them so far not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? Here's a second and five now from the 25. They go play action now. Wilson. And that's going to be caught by Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. At that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 47-yard line. Throwing is Wilson. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. To throw is Wilson. It's complete to Williams. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He finds his man, complete. It's Jenkins. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. And the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Portland's offense now about set to take over. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. 
And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The pickup of 11, and it moves the chains. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Now Wilson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You don't help him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They thought like he can win every battle. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and yeah, that's going to bring up second down. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they corral him just a couple of yards shy of the end zone. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. That's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. A chance for their first points of the season here is it's first and goal. Williams, touchdown! So part of it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Will Lutz on for the point after. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll lose. 
lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The offense on third down, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and seven. And he's caught. And he'll be taken down with a first down as they get about 14 out of that one. And we go to the two-minute warning. And they'll get 14 yards out of it and a fresh set of downs. On first down, Garoppolo. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? No. No, not at all. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Now a give to Jacobs running right. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Portland's offense now about set to take over. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Now Wilson. Pass complete to Judy on the out route. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Wilson. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they have the football. It will set up shop at the 33-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within this, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the knowledge you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. The kick by Carlson is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. 
All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. It was former Tar Heel Javante Williams with a solid first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And hey Charles, they got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. And I think these first couple of drives, they want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Here's Wilson. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Needed 10. He got nine. Fourth down. And yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far the field goal. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. He goes right back to Adams. That's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. First down, Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, 
But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Play action, Garoppolo. Throw right side, pulled in by Mayer. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Back to the running game with Jacobs. Taken down at the 30. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carry. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring out the third down. There's Garoppolo to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Renfro. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. They'll try and run with a fullback, Johnson. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. So the drive will continue after the conversion on fourth. They'll work from the 20 on first down. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Garoppolo. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fabian Moreau. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. Portland's offense now about set to take over. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. They'll start with the option. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the play. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Up the middle, it's Williams. And they'll get to him after a gain of 7 to the 47. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the gun, it's Wilson. A short one to the tight end, Trotman. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They couldn't get anything going there out on the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Now Wilson. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. 
It's not going to end in points, but you know, you consider where this drive started and probably label it a success. I, I do, and I know that without points, it's hard to say that a drive truly was a success, but think of it this way. Changing field position, maybe giving your defense a little bit of a break. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Caught out right by Renfro. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Garoppolo looks to throw. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well, that's not exactly how they drew that one up, nor practiced it, because on first down, you're trying to get some yardage to set up second and third down calls. In this case, had to drop it off to his running back. But boy, they closed quickly on that one and stopped him behind the line of scrimmage. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in the Rose City of Portland, Oregon. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. Garoppolo's throw taken in by Adams. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. No gain on the play there, second down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Here's Garoppolo on first and ten. Caught on the right side by Adams. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. On play action, it's Garoppolo. This is caught, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That one goes for 24 yards. A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. Jacobs is in for a touchdown. This is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. Fielded just outside the goal line. Fighting his way through contact. Portland's offense now about set to take over. 
And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. They begin the drive with Williams. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Holding offense. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And this offense on third down today, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and 10. A short run of the tight end, Troutman, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. Some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one's shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 42 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on him to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Once again, it's Jacobs. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. And that's complete to Adams. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now third down and six to go. Looking to throw Garoppolo. And this is going to be incomplete. And that's an object game from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Play action. It's Wilson. Completes a pass to Judy. What a crossing pattern. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A nice gain of 21 yards. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now it's Wilson. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Robert Spillane. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Scoring has really been at a premium. And, Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard-fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. 
Gets it downfield to Mayer. Touchdown! Michael Mayer with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Condors are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From his end zone, Marvin Mims. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Portland's offense now about set to take over. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A pass for Sutton is intercepted. And the return will stop right around the 25. Well, down two scores in the fourth quarter. It maybe wasn't quite desperation time, but it was getting close. And that interception there on the deep ball, that probably slams the door on their chances. And maybe that was the thought process, that it wasn't quite desperation time. So now you take the shot before they're going to lay back any farther on defense. Go ahead and throw it downfield. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. On play action, now Garoppolo. It's caught here by Adams. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's Jacobs, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. Touchdown! Devontae Adams from 10 yards out. And the Condors are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. That's a good read of the situation by a quarterback. It's a sprint out to the flat. So after he fakes the handoff, he's going to give the impression this is going to be thrown to the back. Instead, he goes to the next level, and it pays off with a touchdown. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. This offense so far on third down, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is going to be third and 13. He's got his target. That's complete. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown! Portland Sutton, 78 yards. And the Lumberjacks have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. 
So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late that they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And they get him behind the line. So that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continue to do so. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. the handoff this is Jacobs and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage and now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 157 to go in the ball game he's going to get it again just looking to get forward and protect the ball now a second timeout called for by the defense that'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play trying to run for it with Jacobs and he is going to have a first down here. And that should be the one that seals a victory. And they'll indeed take a knee. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll run it with Jacobs. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. And just how they envisioned the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know it's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this one. Yep, a knee gets them to 1-0. Final kickoff concludes the ball game, partner, and one side a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling his team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game. So for our visitors, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll get another road date next week meanwhile for portland they obviously fall to 0 and one with the defeat and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week
So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.